Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show how we capture the table data by using the playwright. Okay, how we get the list of the data by using the playwright. Okay, so here suppose that we have one application, this is orange HRM application. So let's log in here. Okay, after login, we need to go to the admin section right here and then we have user details, right? So I need to capture the list of the users available in the application, right? So here we are going to read the all the users name, okay? So first of all, we need to create the X path of the table which will give us the rows so this is the row this is the table body so you can see if i mouse over it will select hold the table uh, body content so let's create x path so dip at the end class putting the value of class name okay, right then we have slash div slash div again next div and then slash div right second div so let's use the index number 2 now you can see there are 1 of 36 if I next you can see it will traverse only the column of users and this data is coming here under the div so let me call another div okay so this is the x path which will identify all the users name from the user column so in the playwright i have already added the steps to navigate the browsers after launching the browser and then this is the login step okay then we can call here page dot locator and pass the locators this will return the locator object of the user column okay we can check the size like count how many value we have how many result we have okay so let me add here sleep or we need to add the wait function so i'm adding five second wait sleep running the code yeah enter username and password and login right and uh, if i go here you will see there are 42 result this is available okay let's check inspect okay this is the uh, pim there are 42 results are available ids but we want to select the admin first okay so let's add a code to select that means so that we can go and see the user list so we can use the class here this is the css selector and this is the first element right if i go here you can see admin is coming first this css selector giving us the multiple result there are 10 result okay but admin is the first one so we can page dot locator and pass the locator okay we can here use nth and then pass value equal to one so one is the first element zero is the first element one is the second element then calling a click method 
Now let me run and in this, this time you will see it will click on the admin and then count the user details. Yeah, it's login now click on the admin right now in the here you will see there are 36 results we received so if you want to capture all the user list then we can iterate here by using the loop okay so let me run the loop integer i equal to zero i started and this is the less than user column dot count i plus plus okay and then here i can capture the values by using user column dot nth here we need to pass the index so each time it will go the next index and then i can call here text content method right so it will give us the user and i am printing the user here so let me run and you will see all user will capture and print on the console if i go on the console you can see all the 36 users name are listed here okay this is one way we can use for loop to find out all the users to iterate the columns rows okay and then get the users name okay for another approach we can use to find out the list of the user without using the iteration okay how we do that we can here use object list user equal to user column dot evaluate all method and here we need to pass the js expression so what is the expression we can you create a variable list and then use the list dot map okay and then element element is object it will iterate the user columns okay and then we can call the method element dot text content okay it, this will return the list of the user let me print Now I am running the code and you will see it will capture automatically all the users and store into the list users variable. It's enter username and password and now go to the admin and it capture all the users. On the console you can see there are 38 users and these are the value okay as a list we are getting so thanks for watching the video hope this will be helpful okay in your case and uh, also if you like my video please subscribe the channel share the this tutorial to your friend colleague so that they can also get benefit